Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here. And on today's video, guys, I'm going to be doing another interview with someone who's very special, a very caring person, loving man, and, you know, somebody who's just, you know, been through a path. He's been through life, right? Things have happened in his life, but he's made it through, right? And he's another part, a person who has an expertise in online marketing, okay? Someone who's wasn't necessarily getting the results they wanted at first, but then they started to grow as they went through the process. So I want to showcase his success today um, by interviewing him, providing some value here to you guys on the channel. Um, hopefully you guys get value. And if at any time, uh, you know, you are getting value, definitely give a thumbs up to this video. It definitely helps it. Also drop a comment down below, um, you know, letting me know if this was valuable in any way. But without further ado, I want to introduce you guys to Mr. Dave Anderson. Say hi to everybody, man. Hey, hello. How are you doing? How's everyone doing out there? Awesome, 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 man. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off because I believe you guys, you, you, you may not necessarily know who Dave Anderson is. So what I want to do is I want to start off by letting Dave share his story with you guys so you can get a better idea of who he is and how he got started online. Go ahead, brother. Yes, yes. Hi, my name is Dave Anderson. I currently live in Florida, but I've always been an entrepreneur from a young uh, youngster. Um, I always wanted to write books. I always wanted to, I was different from the rest of my siblings, because they, my father worked hard. He worked, retired from two jobs. And uh, I grew up in the DC area and we'd drive through D, um, Georgetown in DC, Washington DC, and see the beautiful homes. And my brothers and my sister were in the back of the car with us. And my father would, we'd go through Georgetown and see all the beautiful homes. And he said, wow, that's a beautiful home. And everybody in the car said, yes, it is. And then his next sentence was, but we'll never be able to afford it. And my brothers and sisters and mom said, you're right. But I was the only one that said, no, I can get that. I can get that. Yeah. I can get whatever i desire whatever i believe in whatever i know i deserve if you and i always thought since a young kid and i don't know where i got this from if you believe in yourself and you love yourself and know you're worth it you can achieve anything and uh that's that's what i went through all through high school um, but playing sports, I was the second smallest on the football team and I wanted to do my best and be the best running back there was. And I didn't see quit. If, if I, if I didn't achieve something, I kept going and going and going. Every time I got hit and got knocked down, you get back up and you do it again, you do it again, you do it again. And that's what I did. Um, and so I always believe that everyone should own their own business or uh, even when I was younger, you didn't have online stuff. So I always believed that you should achieve what your dream is. Anything you dream about, you dream about it, but then you should act on it. You know, you deserve it. So that's how I felt about myself. Anything I wanted to do, I thought I deserved it if I put the effort into it. And that's what I did every day. And so I, I did all of these things. I, I wanted to be the best in the sheriff's department, I was the best. I was the best in what I did in the military. I was, I 
strive to be the best. I never gave up. And that's why I was successful in most things. And then when I started working online, and yes, I, uh, I didn't know the right ways of doing things online. And I thought you just was supposed to post and post and post. And that was the wrong method. So I learned the method because learning, everyone should learn every day something. Even if you think you know everything in your field, there's always something to learn. And so that's what I did. I learned and I followed the path and I kept going on the path. There would be struggles because being an entrepreneur uh, isn't for everybody, but it should be. Your mindset has to change. If you can change your mindset, you can be an entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur that thinks he's an entrepreneur and gives up. You know, it's not working for me. You're having a slump. That don't mean you give up and stop and try something new, try a new business or something. No, this is your dream. If you know it's achievable and you know it's the right path, stay on that path. And that's, that's all I've been doing. You know, that's why I slowly been chipping, chipping, uh, getting ahead. It's just like the turtle and the hare, the race with the rabbit and the turtle. <laughs> the rabbit, the rabbit said, oh, I got this. This is going to be easy. So the rabbit started off fast and uh, he said, oh, this is too easy. Hey, you know, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a lunch break. The, while the turtle kept chipping away, going and going and going and never breaking the path or going off the path. The rabbit sat and ate big meal, and then I'm gonna just take a quick nap. So the rabbit took a, rat, a nap. By time the rabbit woke up, the turtle that was still chipping away, going and going and never giving up, was crossing the finish line when the rabbit said, oh no, the race and he beat the rabbit. So that's why you never stop, you keep going. And, and so uh, just anybody that tells you you can't do it, you have to know in your head and know ahead of time that you're going to have people, things, or things that happen or people telling you you can't do it but you have to believe and know in your heart that you can and that you deserve it and never give up you know when you when you feel bad you you should promise yourself when you're going to do uh, do your dream or your online business while you're feeling good you should promise yourself if you're ever feeling bad, to remember the time now that you're feeling, how good it is, and tell yourself, promise yourself, because you should always keep your own promises to yourself first, because you're worth it, that you will never give up. You're feeling bad now, but remember what your why and why you're doing this. You know, always always write down why you're going why you're doing what you're doing and never give up so that's a little bit about it I, um yeah so that's why how i got started awesome awesome man awesome um that's that's powerful um and you know i i met dave what we met about what about a year ago now almost a year yeah almost a year yeah. now and, you know, it, it was something because, you know, I we met through uh, a mutual friend and, you know, I, I, I met Dave, I met Dave and, you know, it was uh, I, I started to see your lives popping up. I think that's where we first were. I started seeing your lives pop up and I was like, OK, 
the mutual friend, I knew the mutual friend, but then I started them, they, they started to share the lives. And I was like, who is Dave, right? Who is Dave? So I started to pay attention to your lives because I was doing lives every single day. So I'm like, well, this person is doing lives quite regularly. So let's pay attention. And, you know, you just, I just resonated with you. And I was like, man, he, he really, he's a powerful speaker. And so the more and more I started to listen, I was just like, man, he's actually talking about something. Because you'll get sometimes where some people will do lives, but they don't really have that, like, 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 they don't really have that to where it's going to make you stick on the live. And, and, and I resonate, like I resonated with you because some of the same things that you were saying, I, those were things that I was saying to people. And so it was just, it was just like an instant connection. And I don't remember exactly how, like exactly how, like we first had conversation, but I know you started to show up to some of my lives too. So I think a connection was built through through the lives i'm showing up you showing up and so i think eventually you reached out but um you know we did we, we we did other things but um that when i first met you man like it was just an instant connection man definitely like it's it's, it's crazy how that works but maybe it goes into like attraction marketing or just resonating with the right with the right type of person but um, i'm glad that you know i was actually able to meet you um, and also our mutual friends and so on and so on, man, definitely. So, you know, with that being said, um, I kind of want to kind of move on a little bit. So Dave has shared his story with you. Um, but I understand, like, when we first get in this industry, most people, if they're new, um, a lot of times um, they may get to a point where they just made the investment, they were excited, and then... Um, they get to a point where they make their first sale, right? If we're just talking about a new person now, they make their first sale. And, you know, when I made my first sale, I still remember it. Like, this was back, and this was back uh, between 2015, yeah, about two, 2015. And I, I, like, even though it was a $7 trial, I understand this, guys, it was a $7 trial, but that moment right there and 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 it and it happened when i was out with my family and i ran some traffic to a web page and it happened while i was out with my family without even you know i didn't have to really speak to anybody so when i got back home and then i was checking the back office because you know when you're new you're like man let me go check the back office to see like if what's going on so like i get back home and I'm like, I log in and I'm just like, man, I hope some sales came through. And like, I looked and I was like, when I saw the $7 trial, I was like, woo! Like, I was just like, woo! Like, my whole body, like, so I was like, I got goosebumps. And so I was like, I sat there for a little minute and I was like, I got it. Like, it, I can do this. Like, like, I can do this. Like, the confidence went through the roof. Right. And I was excited. But here's the thing. What happens? You make that first sale and then. Let's say, for instance, you don't get results for a while. What is it? What is that? What is the thing that keep kept you past, you know, just getting that first result? Like what what kept you going past the excitement stage after you made your first sale? Well. Uh, first. I knew it was going to happen because that's how powerful your mind is. If you know, if you believe and you know that if you believe you're going to and, and know that you're going to, uh, um, you got that first sale, you know, there's more out there and yeah. you have to stick with that. You have to stick with, you know, there's, more out there you know why you're doing this and yes that adrenaline uh, that rush of that first sale is amazing and if it's your first time you have to know that it's going to happen again um you you have to know that it doesn't just happen overnight and mm -hmm. if that's why you need somebody uh, you can't be alone in this because 
a first time person that doesn't know anything, but they, they know they want it and they know they want to achieve it. They have to hear from someone that has a little experience in what they're going to go through. And uh, like, like a mentor. Um, and yeah, so if they tell them what they're going to go through, no matter what, just keep going. And to know that you're not in it, you don't, when you get into a business, don't ever say, I'm going to try it for three months. Go ahead and say, I'm going to do it. Don't have no set time. Because when this slump, if there is a slump, comes, you're going to remember what you said. Well, well, try it. You never want to because this is what you're in it. You're in it to win it. You're in it for the long haul. And just keep going because you can't always get a sale, but they're, they're out there. Just keep going. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are out there, man. Definitely. That's that's powerful, man. So um, the the next thing I want to ask, man, is uh, so when people come across your lives, like how I when I first met you, that was the, pretty much the 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 starting point for us. When people come across your lives, and you know they they see what you're promoting, and so on and so on, like. What are the two main things that you feel that they need to focus on before they even start their journey online? Okay, um, I'd mentioned this earlier. Uh, you have to believe in yourself and love yourself, but you also have to believe in the product, service, or business that you're doing. You have to totally believe in it. And you have to know it. You have to know what it is. And uh, so those few things, you, you have to, it's a must. Believing in yourself, believing in the business, uh, and surrounding yourself with, with business, with minded, self-minded people like you. Well, you know that you you have to focus and you have to stay on the path and you have to do your due diligence and you have to do your homework and once you do your homework and learn because you should be learning every day but you should be working but uh the thing is you should always have everything organized organized you do First, you get your mind right, and you you believe in the business. Then you have to follow a path. A, you have to follow a system that works, a system that works. And once you have that, you keep doing it and doing it. You have to work it. And then you have to set a time and promise yourself that you're going to do it. Because at a regular job, let's say you're supposed to be there at eight o'clock and you work eight hours. You have to be there. So you should still um, take more pride in your business, even though you should take pride in anything you do, but this is your business. So you set a time that you're supposed to be at work for your job, your business, and keep it, and keep it no matter what, because you wouldn't be late for somebody else's, building someone else's dream, so make sure you're not late for your dream, so that's awesome, awesome, man, I love, I love that answer, and, and, and the part that you said about, um, you know, uh, knowing your product, is just like anything, you get better at something when you know it, like you feel more confident about speaking on it. You feel more confident about marketing everything. Like your confidence is fully up when you understand what it is that you're providing. Cause you understand that 
it solves a problem. And, and in business, that's really what we're doing. We're problem solvers. Like uh, a lot of times, um, you know, people, people miss that right there. And, and, and this is what causes them not to be able to, you know, make as much money because they don't understand that their job is to solve a problem. It's not to, um, it's not to, um, what is that? It's not to, it's not just to put a product in front of somebody because if you just push a product and I know this is a little bit off topic, but, um, if you push a product in front of somebody and you don't even know what problem they have, then you just wasted your time. And you also just created a whole lot of pushback. You just, that's all you're going to get. You're just going to get pushback, pushback. It's just like if I walk into an auto zone, if I walk into any store and as soon as somebody comes up to me, the first thing they say is, Hey, how's you doing? Um, how can I help you? Right. I immediate pushback by mostly everybody. You're going to say something like, no, no, I'm just looking right now. Right. But you may actually need them, but you, it's just a, a immediate reaction to just push back. So think about that. When you're talking to somebody, never push your business on them. No, get to know them first. Then if they have a problem, you have a need. I mean, they have a need, you provide that solution. So that's just something I wanted to give, a, 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 you know, something additional, some value for people that are here watching. Hopefully you guys are getting some value. Drop me some comments down below. Hit the thumbs up. It definitely helps the video. All right, so hopefully um, – Dave is sharing some nuggets with you guys. I'm definitely getting some nuggets here while I'm on this uh, live with you. Um, so appreciate that for sure. So um, let's go ahead. Okay, so this one is big. Now, there are some people that have been online um, for quite some time. Some people have been online two, three, four, five, some people longer than that. And some people have felt like they've been burned. They're scared of failure. They've spent so much money. They've been struggling for a very long time. And I, I, what I want to do is I, I want you to give the advice. And I know you kind of touched on it a little bit, but give advice to the people who are feeling like this. They're afraid of failure. They've spent so much money. They're just, they feel like they don't even want to do this anymore. And, and just share some advice with those people. Okay, yes. That's very important. It's happened to a lot of a lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs. They put all this money in, and uh, also they're the all the fluff. And you know, all you have to do is make sure you can have a great product, a great um, everything, but if the company or uh, let's not even say that. You 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 already have a you're feeling some type of way because you've been through that. But always remember, you can you can still make it. It's out there, it's in you. So uh, that's that's what I'm. Uh, you have to believe and know. Just because you came across something that didn't work or you came across a bad apple in the tree don't mean that the next apple isn't your absolutely your yes yeah and i I did want to touch on just a little something else yeah. um. Yeah. Uh, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that's, touch that's on fine. That's else? fine, man. Share it, share it, you drop it. <laughs> Great. Um, your surrounding, your your people around you. If you have someone that's too negative, I don't, even if it's a family member, sometimes it's the hardest. It's the hardest thing to mourn someone that's alive because that person. You don't need that person around and you need to segregate yourself from negativity. Someone always telling you you're not going to make it. Someone that's telling you that, oh, it'll never work. Why are you doing this? You have to stay strong with what you believe in. And it hurts to get rid of 
someone that you really care about as a friend or what what have you but if you have your why like if it's your family think of your family you know think of yourself a lot of people don't have families but they have themselves and that's their why you know time freedom is a lot of what people are trying to get and if you have someone in your ear, every time you talk to them, it's negative. You don't want that around. Um, and it is hard. It's hard because, oh, yeah. yes. um, you know, you, you care about that person and you want them around, but it's hurting your goals, your dreams. Because the self-conscious is very powerful. And it remembers that negative thought. Um, that's why you should always keep positive thoughts in your head. Always, you know, no matter if anybody says anything negative, keep it positive. Um, you know, even in health, um, I, I did want to touch on that. My health um, wasn't too good, but to keep saying it and saying it, it it's it gets in your self conscious. You have to stay positive, no matter what, no matter what. And it takes takes a while to learn this. And but your mind is so powerful that it can overcome any negativity, even the negativity that you're you're speaking about yourself. You know. Um, oh, I'm not too good in, for instance, putting on uh, tires on a car, you know. Um, that's a negative thought. What you should say is, I'm, I'm going to learn how to put that tire on or something positive, something that's going forward, not taking you back. You always want to go forward, always. So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And, and, and I want to touch on that a little bit, right? Because in a way, what, what he was just talking about was a lot of your programming, right? So we're, we're as, as like the way that the, the whole mind works is it's, it's kind of like a computer, right? So let's say I got a computer right here and I want to put, I want my computer to do certain things, but because I have the old software in there, there's no getting to my new breakthrough. There's no getting to become the person that I truly want to become because you still have everything that you're saying in your mind, right? The thoughts, you're, the thoughts you have. And the, if you have negative thoughts all the time, that creates negative feeling inside of here. And that's going to cause you to create, uh, you know, to take a negative action. But if you, if you flip it and you have positive thoughts, that creates a positive feeling. And so when you do your video or if you talk into a prospect or you, um, you know, whatever it is that you're doing in your business, things start to happen differently rather than if you said, oh, I can't, I can't generate leads. I, I, I can't do video. People are going to talk about me. Right. I don't look good. I, I don't like how I look in the mirror. Like, like when you say things like that, you're speaking everything into it in, into existence. And I talk about uh, mirror work, like because I, I do mirror game every day. So if you see the mirror over here, if you guys can see every day I wake up, the first thing I do is I say what I'm grateful for. Right. I give thanks to the, to, to, to the Lord. And then I go over there into that mirror right there and I speak what I want into existence. So understanding that, um, another thing that you want to do is you want to pay attention to your thoughts, your emotions, uh, your thoughts and your emotions. Because what I do, what I have here, and this is a journal that I have, right? It's a leather bound journal. And I, and I, and I jot down in it, like at certain times in the day, I'll just stop and I'll, how do I feel right now? Right. And, and I'll do that throughout the day just to and then I'll write down how I felt at that particular time. So that way I can stay like, what am I thinking about? Is it positive? Is it negative? And so on. And then I, 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 I course correct 
if I'm not in the right mindset. And what that does is that keeps me, that keeps me focused on what it is that I'm doing. So if I've set an intention to make a certain amount of income in my business, and, and this other part is clear, if you're not clear on the amount of money that you want to make per month in your business, it's not going to happen. It's just like you're, 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 you got a GPS, right? You, you may have a GPS, but there's like, it's, it's like you, you're going on a road trip, but you don't have any signs on the road. So you're just taking a guess on, oh yeah, this is going to get me to Georgia. This could, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to, you want to set an intention. How much money do you want to make per month? Then when you write it, you want to write it like this. Like for example, right? If I'm writing this in my journal, I mean, I'll, how I'm going to write it is if it's already happened. So I am so grateful now that I earn $2,000 per month, or I am so grateful now that I earn $10,000 per month easily and effortlessly, right? Because you don't want it to happen. Um, you know, you don't want to be working all hard to do it, right? You want it to happen easily and effortlessly. So that's how I write down my intentions. And then I take the actions because I've already put that out. The universe and or whatever it is that you believe in, God, universe, whatever it is, it's gonna it's gonna flow to you. Everything is gonna happen the way it needs to happen in order for you to hit that intention, right? So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Um, I just kind of want to go over that. I've really been focusing in on you know quantum physics, the mind, really mastering. Um, you know, what it is that it, because 95% of your success is going to be your mindset. When you understand how your brain or your mind works, like everything about your life will change. Every single thing about your life, your business, your marriage, whatever it is, it will change because you understand this. All right. So yeah. I know I kind of got off on a tangent there, man, <laughs> um, about that. But um, I, I think, I think that is just key. Um, along this journey in business, because you really got to have a different mindset to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, I know you have another question, but I did want to say something else. You know, also, when you are trying to do, um, get people to, uh, like you're branding yourself or something, you want to ask about them. Uh, there's a little uh, test that I'm going to do. Every time somebody, if, if I meet somebody or something, I'm going to ask, it's going to be about them. Uh, they're going to say, how's your day? I'm going to say, how's your day? And how's everything? Because, you know, actually, you get more people responding to you when you're concerned, when you're genuinely concerned about them and what they want. Um, so uh, the entrepreneurs out there, it doesn't have to be just in, like uh, Rakim said, it could be in everything. Um, be concerned about them. Um, ask about them. You know, and be, and really be concerned because you, if you care about yourself and you care about others, you're going to want to know how they're doing. So a test for you, 24 hours, just try it 24 hours. Whatever anybody says to you, anything positive, don't, don't let it be about you. Ask about them. How's your day? So what are you doing now? What business are you in? And you're going to get more responses, and they're going to start to, ooh, let's see. Uh, uh, let, let's see how Dave is doing. And because they, you're going to get more popular, that is. Yeah. Um, because it's not about me, 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 me. Absolutely. It's, you're concerned about them. So I Absolutely. just wanted to mention that. Absolutely, man. I 100% I agree with that. Make it about them. And, and I've learned that more and more I focus on them, the more like people will start to like check up on you. Right. That's that's it's crazy how that works. But people will definitely start to look and follow like, oh, what's going on with him? Oh, is he going live? Oh, is he doing all right? Is his family? It's, 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 it's a phenomenon. All right. So um, let's continue. And um, all right. So so this right here, 
is more or less um, like routine. So like, okay, so there's some people that are probably going to watch this that are maybe haven't started a business yet and they're looking to start a business. And there's also people that's gonna watch this that's already in business that may be dealing with this. So what advice can you give the people who are working a job right now, full-time job or part-time, on what is your routine on, if, you, if you're working a job, what is your routine that you do or that you could give them advice on, on what to do in a day to maximize their results? Okay, uh, first, just like you have that journal, they need to get one of those. Um, they need to set times that, okay, they have a, another job somewhere. Yeah. Okay, they already know the times of that. They set times and goals, and you have to have it is always good to have a system, a system that has all the tools that you need yeah. in there. And so you, you have to do your due diligence on that. And you want to get, get help. You, you have to do your due diligence on that and know what you need yeah. and uh, be very prepared um, and organized. And if you have everything in line and all your tools, just like a mechanic has, he has all his tools in his bag, he has everything he needs, and he has them all in one bag, he can then start working on his dream. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. And you, you kind of led me right into the next question, man. Um, the next question was, are there certain books or tools that people need when they first start on their journey? What would be some tools or books that you've read? Not to mention, Mr. Dave here has his own book, um, just so you guys, uh, just so everybody knows. But what books or um, tools, like online tools or whatever, would you recommend for somebody just getting started? Uh, yes. Now, there are many books out there but their books from uh people like robert kiyosaki les brown well that's mostly motivation but you need that too yeah. um and but the special especially you need the tools the the tools that you need the the right tools and um because you need you need to get leads. So um, you would need uh, like email campaign. You would need um, all these marketing tools. And if you have the best and you have them all in one, that's even better. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I 100% so, agree. Yeah. So there, there are certain books that I like. Um, motivational books, learning books. Um, uh, I, I, I like um, uh, some of the popular ones that are out there now, but um, especially, I just, I just like uh, Les Brown always picks a motivational book um, and he tells you how to start something as well. But um, uh, that's, that's my main thing is the tools. You have to have the right tools and, and to start your business and to maintain it. If you have everything working together in one and you keep doing it, you'll never, you'll never fail just as long as you never stop. Gotcha, 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 brother. So um, um, I, I want to definitely give another congratulations. I gave uh, I gave him a congratulations on Facebook, um, but Mr. Dave here just ranked up. Um, we're if if you guys are not familiar, yeah, um, you know I put a lot of uh, royalty content on here um, on the channel and any in all the other different companies I'm I'm involved in. 
But royalty, as you guys know, I'm always putting stuff out, new updates, and so on and so on. So um, shout out to Mr. Dave uh, for ranking up um, and in the company, which shows that not only is Dave actually making money, but the people within this organization are actually making money as well, which puts him more in a leadership position. So this lets you know that um, like Dave has been an inspiration in people's lives. Um, some people are not even on Dave's team. Dave, Dave has helped so many people. It's, 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 it's quite crazy, right? <laughs> it, it's quite crazy. You've helped a lot of people. They didn't have to be on your team. You were just, you were just always helpful, right? And you always, like for me, like I always see you on the lives, man. You're always engaging. Like you're on, you're on everybody's lives. You're engaging. You're just really locked in here on the, like, you know, on social media and so on and so on. So you're just like one of those, those good souls, man. Like, so I, I really appreciate like, like everything you do, man. Um, and you're just, like I said, man, you're just a good soul. So um, the, 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 the thing I want to ask now, because um, once again, congratulations on your rank up uh, Thank just you. recently. Thank you. So that, so that means, more money in the bank, man. Uh, yeah. But most importantly, yeah. you're able to, um, you know, inspire more people as you continue to grow. So shout out for that. Um, Thank you. So what, so, okay. So this, this is another thing. So like you do Facebook lives um, more than, more than anything. So um, do you have a YouTube channel or no? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, it's very important. A YouTube channel is very good. Um, I have not kept up too much with it, which I, I have ventured another way, but I still use it. Okay. I still do it. Um, it's very good, very powerful. Um, and I did want to mention, I know you have a question, but the reason, this is only one of the reasons I watch your lives because I always learn, I always learn from you, always. There's every live that you've done, and you know that's been a lot. Yeah, every, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's been a lot right there. <laughs> yes, I've learned, everybody has learned. You could see it in the comments, say, wow, that's, you know, you can see, in the writing, in the comments that people are learning, the value and the teachings that you do. Um, and the reason why I'm ranking up is because of royalty, all the tools that they have, you know, the email marketing, the content marketing, the uh, everything is there that you need. You don't have to go out and get something else from that. There are other things that you you want to get to, but yeah. not with just, um, you got everything you need for a big, um, even a beginner, they can look like a professional, which that's what you are when you start with royalty. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if you want to mention about the 23rd, but, um, <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> Yeah. That's amazing. So, so that's so so um so um some of the people here on my uh YouTube channel they are aware of the 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 uh, uh royalties artificial intelligence that's coming out on the 23rd of November of this month at the time that we're recording this. Um and we're excited about that because it it eliminates the user issue that 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 most uh, systems have, right? So when you when most people get started, if 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 they're if they're new or maybe even if they're not new, sometimes people may not be techie, but they've been doing something for quite a long time. So what this does is it eliminates the user issue and it it it, it automates that process for you. So just kind of just just kind of imagine this: you are going to make a purchase. You're getting started with royalty. And you go through the purchases made. Now, right before you make your purchase, you pick your niche, whatever industry you're in, and then the system is going to create a entire campaign for you. So it's going to do your emails for you. It's going to 
uh, build a website for you, right? It's also going to post on a live blog for you, right? It's multiple different things that are going to be done for you. Now, what I don't like to do, um, because I, I know um, I, I like to set the foundation, like, like expectation from the start, right? So I don't want people watching this to think like, hey, as soon as this happens, like it's just going to be the, the, the flyby overnight thing that's just going to change your business, right? I, I like, because I don't, I, don't, I don't like to, I, like, I love to set that right. So understand it's a great tool. It's a powerful tool that will allow you to advertise your business anywhere you want around the world. And the, with, with all the different things that it has, the different features, ever all the tools, like having all that stuff is awesome, okay? But understand this is, and, and the CEO has said the same thing, um, Justin. He said, I don't want you to think that this is an overnight, just it's going to fix your business just, just like, I, I don't want you guys to think that. I want to set the expectation. Understand work is still going to have to be put in, right? Understanding being coachable, that, that right there is, is the most important thing ever coachable being coachable being able to follow a blueprint that's that's laid out for you is going to be the key to you succeeding and i believe like success leaves clues like when it comes to doing certain income producing activities i follow certain mentors i look at what they're doing and then i say okay well if this mentor is doing facebook lives all the time they're also writing motiv giving motivation in the morning this person is also, I, I follow what they're doing because if they're doing it, then I should probably be doing it too, <laughs> right? Can, can, can we agree, right? right? Cause, yes, cause, yes. Because that success leaves clues. If they're doing this and they're making a lot of money and they're changing a lot of lives and providing value, then it's best for you to do those same things. So um, yeah. I think, I, I just believe like that's, that's key. Um, but as far as, uh, as far as this, 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 this pretty much this question that we're going to pretty much end it on. And if you got anything else you want to share with them after this, uh, you could definitely do that. Um, but what, when people watch your content, like when they watch your Facebook lives, um, and they, and they follow you, cause what I want to do is I'm going to actually put like your, your, uh, Facebook down there. So if anybody wants to follow you. They could just go over to your um, your page, check you out, see your lives and all the value you provide. Um, but what do you want to leave with people when they decide to follow you on your profile, watch your lives? Like, what is that one thing you want to stick with them? All right. I want them to learn something, always learn something. I want them like I said before, I want them to believe in themselves and I want them to water their dreams. I know always. what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> yes. If you have a dream and everybody does, stop messing around. I want everybody to water your dreams because there's a story. Can I, can I tell you a yeah, story? Absolutely. Um, okay. Uh, a lot of people heard, heard this story. I've, I've said it before, but there was this man. He, there was a Chinese bamboo tree seed. Yeah. Okay. This man planted this seed and this particular seed has to be watered every day but it's not gonna start growing for five years. Um, so he buried the seed, his, he was outside every day watering it and his neighbor and the neighborhood would walk by and laugh at him and say, man, what are you doing watering the ground every day in that particular area? And they, they talked about him, laughed at him. He just kept watering it every day, watering his dreams. But they didn't know that the roots underneath were getting stronger and stronger and stronger. No one else saw it, but he knew it was happening. He believed. And five years later, that tree sprouted 
90 feet in five weeks, uh, five weeks, five, six weeks, because he never gave up. He had to water it every day. Um, it couldn't miss a day and he didn't stop. And so that's what I want people to do. Believe in your dream. Don't say you're going to try it and water it every day. It's your dream. Don't go with your dream when you pass away. You want to leave a legacy. You want to accomplish something to yourself and your family and your why. So that's that's what I want to, that's why. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome, man. So um, it's one thing, um, and this is just off the hip. This is not like, you know, part of my, 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 you know, my questions that I got for you, but um, in one sentence, explain to people what royalty can do for them and their business. Help you achieve your goal, your dream. It can be a tool to take you to your dream and where you want to go. Awesome. I like that answer, man. So, um, you know, I want to thank you for coming out, Dave, man. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, you were, you shared some valuable tips. I think people are going to watch this and get some value from it. Um, for everybody that's watching right now, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you got some value, also drop me a comment down below. Give a, a shout out to Dave or congrats to Dave. Um, and I'll, as I said, I will put his, uh, his uh, Facebook down in the description below. That way you guys can follow him. And if he wants me to, I'll put his YouTube in there. and You guys can go to subscribe to him. And if you're watching this for the first time, subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, we share a lot of value, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook, all right? So, you know, with that being said, guys, um, I just wanted to share this um, with you guys. Bring Dave on here. Drop some nuggets. And uh, with that being said, I will go ahead and get off of here. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Peace.